Okay. I know you ran past the Barbie date because I'm looking at comingsoon.com and I'm looking at all the newest release movies. And there was no plot. I assume they just expected fan speculation to give them some sort of direction like always because everybody's turned into a soulless robot. So here's my fan speculation based on the fact that they at least committed to actors for the roles. So Simu Liu, Idris Elba, and Ryan Gosling are playing the three different races male, uh, you know, um, Kens. And Margaret Robbie is playing the Barbie and uh, some black woman is playing the black woman. I don't know if she's chosen yet. And I forget the name of the woman who's aside, Simu Liu. Now, the point here is that the only way to make this movie in this COVID era of self-obsession and lack of reality when it comes to society, as if that's all they were basing their selves off of is public interaction, the only way to make something entertaining to adults is to create a movie that speaks to the concept that fashioned and everything isn't a way of living. So we start out with Ryan Gosling, who talks to Idris Elba at the beginning of the movie, and he says, hey, let's change closets, because he's tired of wearing the same ghetto-style urban wear clothing that he's always been wearing with fake spray paint on it and garish colors, silly gold chains and things, because it's part of his set of clothes. Ryan Gosling agrees and changes clothes with him. They wake up in the morning and they're switched back because this is the type of society that people wish to live in where they just force things like this to happen. And so because Simu Leo is a little bit different than his character because they're Asians, they kind of go crazy due to COVID isolation in a certain way. So as a representation of them, they usually go fishing because all their problems are put into that. So their characters, him and his wife, because it's just a, kind of a joke, would be fishing a lot of the movie, and they bring the fish on the weekends to the area where they grill, you know, in whichever Barbie's backyard, and talk, and then at each time, each weekend, they realize how dissatisfied they are with their cliches, and how staying within those categories and not doing anything interesting has really started to drive them insane more. But it builds over the course of the movie. <coughs> And for example, Idris Elba would also, just for the fuck of it, for more content, would also try to switch because he's just wondering if it's something wrong with him and the other guy with Simu Liu because he, I know he likes dressing all ghetto. And he'd say, man, that shut's never out of fashion. And then they switch back again as he's wearing boring like white person clothes like an Asians usually do because this is the representation of the type of world that is trying to be represented at people as COVID has gotten worse too, as if nobody's allowed to be wild and crazy because you're not allowed to communicate your wild and craziness either. Like both directions. You're not allowed to move on from any fashion trends because nothing's changed and you're also not allowed to do anything wild and crazy. See, the movie's just supposed to be an adult style feeling of, I guess you'd call it resistance against everything because... They're feeling stressed out, so they need a movie that simply pleases them while being adult in some ways. Now, obviously, at some point, at the very, very beginning of the movie, because we need a basis, <laughs> because these characters are not creative enough on their own, because they're literally the Barbie world, to escape by themselves in their own concepts. So then we introduce um, Zac Efron, because he's a you know a person who actually went on some adventures and goes to the mountains and stuff a little bit. So he's kind of representative of some person already established in everybody's colloquial minds as an adventurer, a fisherman, different things. So he can appeal to each of these different characters. And he shows up as original Ken, because original Ken had brown hair and wasn't blonde. So he's like, I'm original Ken, you know, like, no, I'm just passing through. You may not be able to leave your Barbie world, but I can. And so that's what bothers Ryan, you know, uh, Gosling's character because he's new Ken and he's trapped in an 80s world of, you know, neon clothing and brightly colored, you know, sports cars. Yeah. And he can't choose any other path even if he wanted to. So my concept is he talks to, uh, like Grant said, whoever in the city grid or whatever that's kind of COVID lockdown ghostly. And so that, you know, these limited Barbie characters are interacting with each other mostly. And of course you can have other people scurrying around their business in the town somewhat, whatever. It doesn't have to feel like a ghost town or anything. But when he comes through, he's like, you don't understand. You're like, you know, 
so stuck in your ways, and I don't know if you'll ever be free. So then he says, he shows him, you know, on his awesome, you know, new cell phone that's got, you know, new features they don't have, how he lives in, like, a Timberline mansion out on some mountain road, and, like... He's, like, married to, like, some Barbie cavewoman from some cavewoman set, you know? And, like, you know, is living at large, you know? Yeah. And so, like, I was thinking maybe they, like, decide they need to, like, take a journey to his house, you know? That seems like a pretty good concept. I don't know if he agrees. I would say that while that it may be a good idea, I don't see how it because we always have to think of this in the yeah. visual aspect first because it's yeah, it's not a is. road trip movie. If they went to his house, it would have to be a joke that they're just like instantly there. Yeah, you know I mean? you're right. So because if that doesn't solve their dissatisfaction and situation with life, they would just talk to him at his house and determine yeah. that his life isn't for them and they need to live their own life in some other way. I, you know what I mean? You're right. So that leading into that. They find out they're terrible at camping would be the joke. Yes. Like, all the jokes, you know, they're so bad at it. A storm comes in, poison ivy, mosquitoes, uh, bears, all the stupid stuff all at once. They make it retarded. So well, they the bears hit. are also plasticky because this is Barbie. All the animals are all plasticky ducks and stuff. Yeah. So the bears all, all super like, sexy. Plastic yeah. So they're animals. like running from plasticky bears as plasticky skinned people, you know. Yes. As the bear is just literally like eating some berries. Yeah. And like looks up with them and is like, Rrr. yeah, I love it. Yeah. So my point here is just. The end conclusion, if you also want, because, you know, this is just my opinion, though, because it's me, is just that they all need to learn to, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, because I, I don't have an ending that will satisfy, you know, this is just an ending that satisfies me visually, but they learn to grow up a little bit, that there's nobody actually living next to them in the ways that they're living in their town, because they're the Barbie playset and they have big backyards, and that they learn that maybe they should uh, bring some of the forest to their backyard and plant a bunch of Barbie different t style trees because they're in a tropical enough area that they can put in palm trees and pine trees and stuff because it's yeah. Barbie land. And that that's kind of the example of what I'm saying with people who live in places that are better than me. They need to grow the fuck up and they need to learn that they can be happier by having the forest in their backyard their backyard be the forest, yes. their house be something else, and also serve different purposes. And never serve a purpose, a room that it shouldn't have or doesn't need to be there. Yeah, you don't need to be fancy and so hurt yourself with rooms you never use. And, like, if you want a garden right off your back kitchen, that's cool, you know, whatever. You can just do it for vanity and yet you get something out of it immediately, you know, if you set it up easy. And so all this stuff... It makes me think, you know, how there's now easy polymer print things you can get. You can, like, there needs to be new, like, Barbie line where you can, like, maybe, like, easy print your own models and snap them together that are sensually seductive, you know? Yeah, I mean, let's be real. Why would I lie? As a kid, everybody was like, man, he plays with Barbies. I don't play with Barbies. I just like staring at their tits and different dresses I put on them. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. It's just <laughs> like this movie. The end. Pay me. Yeah, it sounds pretty killer. Pretty killer concepts. I don't know.